Hi, and welcome to Unity Reflect, how to manage Reflect seats. Now that we've installed Reflect and got going in our first project, let's see how to manage these seats. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your user login. So first off, we can get there by going to unity.com, logging in, and going into our account. I'm going to maximize so we can see the whole view. And we can go into our account. This is me personally. And the first thing I'm going to do is go down to my organizations and pick the correct organization that I'm working with. Once I've picked the correct organization, if I want to add new members or if I want to make any changes, just be aware that if I only have one person and I want to add more people, I can add members by going to the organization selected, Members and Groups. As you can see, there's only one member at the moment. I would have to add a member and they would have to accept this and then be part of it. Then I could then select if they're a user, a manager, an owner, or a guest. Once we have selected that, then we can go back to my organization, click on the selected one, go to the Unity Reflect seat. You can click on the cogwheel to manage or just here on the Unity Reflect um, name. And once you're here, you will see what your account has. I have a subscription. This is how long it will last, when it will expire the amount of seats I have available so I can invite two other people if I wish. If you don't have anybody here so far, you can assign a seat or if you want to remove somebody, you can revoke a seat. You can add more seats if you will by adding a payment method if you've already used up all your available seats. You can manage your subscription and your payment information. And that is as simple as it gets. Just remember, you have to have your Unity login and set up. Make sure you select the correct organization and follow those easy steps. Wish you the best of luck in managing and maintaining your Unity Reflect seats. Thank you.